Ghost pepper, one of the hottest and most well-known peppers in the world, making its fame on YouTube and other sites through the ghost pepper challenge, leaving many with a very haunting experience and a bad taste in their mouth. Unfortunately, it lost its top spot over the years and now finds itself quite far down in the list of hottest peppers. However, when it comes to dealing with and countering zombies, it appears Plants vs Zombies 2's very own ghost pepper is spooktacular at just that. Despite being undead, Zomboss's army's taste buds are apparently very much alive. Taking itself in the most literal and supernatural sense, ghost pepper is actually the only ghost plant in the entire game and in turn comes with a very particular set of skills, skills it has acquired over a very long life and death. Costing just 75 sun, the deceivingly cute ghost pepper is a semi-instant gemium plant. Dealing 30 damage per shot every 0.5 seconds, ghost pepper lasts for a duration of 10 seconds before exploding with 450 points of AoE damage. When plant food is used, ghost pepper can exert increased damage in a 4x3 area for 3.5 seconds, but this also has an additional benefit of resetting her 10 second lifetime counter, very much like Puff Shroom's plant food ability. When timed correctly, this means you can essentially get an extra use from her. Another fun fact about Ghost Pepper, and contrary to her flavour text, claiming her appearance is merely the result of a Halloween costume that she loves so much she refused to take it off. However, it was confirmed in the last year by the author of the PVZ2 flavour text that Ghost Pepper is indeed a real ghost. So, just before we move on to exactly why I think Ghost Pepper is the perfect counter to almost every zombie in the game, I just wanted to let you guys know about my merch store that has recently been updated with a whole bunch of new designs and products. If you are interested, there is a link in the description below. Anyway, the first major thing to note about our friend Ghost Pepper here is that she is immune to almost every single zombie attack. This also includes any transformation spell or ability that is used to make a plant passive, aka unable to do damage. A great example of this is the wizard zombie in Dark Ages who is far too trigger happy with sheep magic, turning your very innocent plants into those grass munching monsters. Ghost Pepper is not phased by this at all however. Sheep, goat or any other type of magic is apparently powerless against ghosts in the PVZ universe. Another powerful enemy Ghost Pepper is immune to is Octo Zombie, one of the trickiest zombies to deal with in possibly one of the toughest worlds, Big Wave Beach. Whilst we can assume the Octopi will just go straight through Ghost Pepper and hence why Octo Zombie refuses to target her, not all zombies are completely stupid you know, it's not the only thing that makes Ghost Pepper a fantastic counter. Ghost Pepper is actually one of the only plants that can be placed on water without the need of a lily pad. A few others that possess this ability are Rotabaga, Tangle Kelp, Guacodile and Cauliflower. Of course, what Ghost Pepper has over all of these is that she cannot be eaten and has an immunity to basically everything. With Ghost Pepper being able to float on water, she can be placed anywhere during Big Wave Beach to deal damage immediately to any zombie that appears on the lawn. This can be insanely useful, especially when the difficulty starts to ramp up. Ghost Pepper also has incredible crowd control. Whilst difficult for me to test completely as I don't know how to get my own levels, it appears that there is no limit for the number of zombies she can attack at once. As long as the zombies are in her range, they will get haunted. Speaking of which, Ghost Pepper can attack in two directions as well. Two squares to the right, one square to the left. And of course, on her own tile as well. This means that you can literally stick Ghost Pepper in the middle of a crowd of zombies and she will thin out the horde very quickly indeed. Ghost Pepper may not have the biggest damage output but it's perfect for these types of situations with weak zombies. Attacking in two directions also makes her a viable option in worlds like Wild West where zombies will often try and attack from behind. The final few things before we get onto the downsides of Ghost Pepper is that she only costs a mere 75 sun and only has a 15 second cooldown time which is relatively short for a plant that has so much utility and usefulness. Especially when coupled with Imitator, you can regularly get Ghost Peppers on the field throughout a level. You also mustn't forget that although Ghost Pepper only lasts 10 seconds, this timer only starts counting down when Ghost Pepper first starts attacking a zombie, so you can actually pre-place her if needed. So, we've talked about the good, now let's move on to the not so good. 
Ghost Pepper may be a very powerful plant, immune to many forms of damage, but she isn't immune to everything. A few zombies do have the power to destroy her. This includes the troglobite and arcade zombies who can push their objects onto her. The Imp Porter, whose backpack can eliminate her, and the Zombie King, who can land on her and destroy her. So basically, this just means if you want to destroy a ghost in the PvZ universe, you have to crush, smush, or sit on it. Another zombie that can affect Ghost Pepper indirectly is the Fisherman Zombie, who can't target Ghost Pepper, but if he manages to hook the plant behind Ghost Pepper, it can pull both plants forward. A further weakness of Ghost Pepper is one that is certainly questionable. Ghost Pepper is part of the Peppermint family, which makes sense since a lot of fire-based plants are also within this category. However, despite Ghost Pepper being one of the hottest peppers in the world, interestingly, she is the only peppermint plant that can be frozen. Yeah, so unfortunately, this does make using her in Frostbite Caves a little bit less appealing. Although, if Peppermint is used on Ghost Pepper, it does increase her regular Haunt attack by 60 DPS and her Plant Food attack by 200 DPS. The final downside I have is related to her leveling. Now, for the most part, Ghost Pepper's stats increase over time in the way you would expect. Recharge, toughness, damage, and plant food power are all increased as she levels up. But strangely, her 450 points of explosive damage before vanishing does not get improved in this way. Sadly, this stat will always stay at 450. It is not affected by leveling. Fortunately, it does do a fair bit of damage anyway. It's not a deal breaker by any means, in my opinion. Overall, whilst there are a couple of ghost busting zombies and a few minor downsides to ghost pepper, I think it's clear that she is a very viable and inexpensive plant to use in specific situations, whether that is to deal with pesky wizards and octo zombies or just to thin the horde. Ghost pepper certainly isn't a plant you want to sleep on, as you'd fall straight through her, but her immunity to basically everything can't be underestimated. Whilst I have used ghost pepper in the past and I absolutely love the Jekyll and Hyde vibes she's got going on and everything else, but after making this video, I think I will start using her a lot more. This is what I love about this type of video, you can really learn a lot about every PvZ2 plant if you just do a bit of research and some testing. Some plants that you'd never give a second thought to may be hiding some pretty powerful secrets if you take a closer look. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. As with all discussion videos like this, I'm bound to have missed something, so let me know your opinions on Ghost Pepper in the comments below. But other than that, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you want to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen or through the link in the description. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.